So today I'm going to show you how to do a thermocouple bypass test with your 3-key controller when you get a TC fail message like we're getting right now. So you can see it says TC and then it will switch to fail. So that's letting you know that there's a problem with the thermocouple circuit. So the first thing we need to do is remove power to the kiln so that we can disconnect the thermocouple. So let's do that now. And then we want to remove the four screws out of the corner of the controller. You can see all four of those. We want to remove those and then we want to get access to the back of the controller so that we can remove the thermocouple. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now that we've got the controller removed away from the kiln, it should look something like this on the back. Now the first thing we want to do, we want to remove these two thermocouple wires and disconnect it from the controller. So go ahead and do that first. And then just remove the two wires. Okay, so now that we've got that done, now you're going to need a jumper wire of some sort, so you can use a piece of wire. Here's what we usually use, and the easiest thing is a paper clip cut in half to make just a little U-shaped wire. So go ahead and place that so that it connects the two terminals for the thermocouple. So we connect the positive and negative. Now you can see I've got my jumper wire in. And now we want to go ahead and turn the controller back around and we're going to return power to the kiln. So let's go ahead and do that now. And now we just need to make an observation of the temperature. So what we're looking for right now is a room temperature which we've got right now which that just means that the thermocouple has gone bad or the thermocouple wire and it just needs to be replaced. Now if you would have gotten a really high temperature or just a really strange temperature other than a room temperature that would indicate that the thermocouple circuit on the board itself has been damaged in some way and it needs to be either repaired or replaced. But that's it for this time so remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!